What's up guys, Edgy here bringing another video and today we are back in TD Presents Content Creator Fantasy Draft CFN Week number two against our boy Bcast, another YouTuber Like I said before, he makes great content, his link will, link will be down below in the description Make sure you guys go hit that sub button for him um, I think he's closing in on 7k subs, so definitely go help him out uh, Real quick guys, I told you guys in the last video, I wanted to make some trades I made that happen, I made one huge trade um, it was actually with my buddy Jason. He really wanted the Honey Badger. I really wanted CD Lamb and some help to the defense. So we worked something out. So guys, as you see here, this is a trade that we did. So Kendall Fuller is listed as a corner, but in real life he plays safety now. That's where I'm going to play him. I'm going to play him where Tyron Matthew was. I'm going to put him at strong safety. Uh, we traded Shaq Lawson. We got Montez Sweat. We traded LaVisca Chenault. We got CD Lamb. So basically we traded a superstar X Factor, a star dev, second year wide receiver, and a normal dev, uh, D end. For three star devs um, all of them pretty young I think Kendall Fuller's a little bit older but Montez Sweat and CD Lamb are both in their early 20s this is a two-year CFM um, so they should develop very very quickly but yes guys this is the trade that we made very very excited to update the depth chart and see these new players in action going over B Cas's roster once again he has Derrick Henry this man needs to chill with a Derrick Henry he had him in the last CFM he ran all over pretty much everyone in the league for the most part we were able to limit him but pretty much every time we played, he'd have one huge run that'd be like 70 yards where he'd break three, four tackles and go to the house. Um, so we can prevent that from happening. I think we're in good shape. He's got Justin Simmons, Robbie Anderson, a burner, JC Jackson, Mike Gesicki, JC Treader, Jarvis Landry, Jeffrey Simmons, Deion Dawkins, David Onyemata, Jimmy Smith, Golden Tate, Chris Lindstrom, Shelby Harris, Justin Coleman, Darquise Denard. And I'm going to show you guys right now what quarterback he has to us. So he has a lot of players, you know, hold a place in my heart. He's got Tua, he's got Gasicki, he's got Jarvis Landry. Um, he's got a lot of them. But we got to let that go right now. We got to go into this game and we got to do what we do. We got to dominate. We got to come out on top. Let's go in. Let's get a dub. Dot. CD Lamb. He dropped it. See how he uses this. Sutton, good yards after catch, first down. First and 10 after a big third down conversion, guys. Run a little seams here. See if we can sneak Evan Ingram up the field. Nope, we got Marlon Mack out of the backfield. That's easy money. Some blocks. Gain of 15, maybe 20. A little jet touch pass here. Good blocks, good blocks. Let's go, big gain, gain of 17. See if Sutton can get some separation on this route. If not, I'm going to put him on a on a curl route, and I'm going to put Duvernay on a slant. So let's see if we can get Sutton on this left on this right side of the field over here. Dot. Dot. Dragged his user away. Worried about Lamar's speed. Evan Ingram was sitting there on the curl route. Perfectly executed. All right. QB contain. Pinch the D-line. That's a pick. Byron. Yes, sir. Kasiki's not outrunning him, bro. I know my boys. All right. Let's see what we can do here. Oh, that's money. Evan Ingram. Evan Ingram. Hot dot. 61 yards for a touchdown. Fourth and four, guys. One more stop. We can go up huge here. Oh, I couldn't quite get there. Thought I had that. He doesn't have Henry in. I'm very surprised. I don't know why. Oh, Montez Sweat. Good run. I shouldn't have went for a hit stick with Montez Sweat. I should have just caught him. Alright, Derrick Henry's back in. Gotta pay attention. Van Ginkle. Oh, Van Ginkle's there. Oh, block in the back? Come on. All right, we hit him with the play action earlier. Let's see if we can do it again. Cortland Sutton. Good yards, baby. 23 yards. All right, he's bringing his defense down. Okay, spread last second. Get that block. Get that block. <gasps> Marlon Mack, what a juke. That's a house call. That's a house call. Let's go, Marlon Mack. Great juke. Montez Sweat screaming at him. Right, we shift the line that way. User in here. User in there. User in everywhere. 
And Robbie Anderson's burning us again. Even though I'm in cover four playing over the top. See, this is the one thing I don't like, guys. We don't really have any receivers that if they press, we can just know that they're going to get off of it. I'm going to try Sutton just because he should have good release. But I don't think he's going to burn. Evan Ingram. That's a dot. If people aren't going to cover the seam, guys, I am going to feed Evan Ingram every single game. Just telling you guys now. Let me run. Why did it not let me move? Let's see what we got here. Oh, CD. Oh, they gave it to me. I don't think I got that, but you know what? We'll take it. Yeah, he, he can't challenge. He can't challenge. <laughs> Sorry, bro. I don't think I got that either, but if he's going to give it to me, I'll take it. I'm going to streak Ingram here. Put Sutton on a little zig route. Let's get it. Rack that. We're going to take the three, guys. Should be good, I hope. I was a little off on the accuracy. I think we got it. Up by 10, going into half. Guys, I am a little worried to do this because he does have Derrick Henry. So, I mean, if he gets a you know some crazy blocks, he might get a good run here. Oh, my God, we're getting pancaked. Conservative tackle. Not risking it whatsoever. Oh, no, I, I got stuck on D-lineman. <gasps> Dante, pick it. What are you doing? Guys, I love this game, but I can't wait for the patch. Dante Jackson really just bounced the ball off his head for freaking three, four steps. And then he runs for 20 yards on third and 10. I feel like this is the time he would do a fake, so we're going to come out regular defense. Still up by seven, guys. He wasted almost the whole third quarter. We marched on a score here. We pretty much put it away. Let's see if we can distract him. Get Evan Ingram up that seam again. Oh, I had RB wide open. RB was a touchdown. I just didn't have time to throw it. Third and eight, guys. We got to convert this. Oh, my God. Why does Lamar take off so slow? I'm trying to go all the way to the left, and he goes up the middle. Come on. Let's go. Big stop. Big stop. Pick. Dante Jackson. I probably should have just swatted that, but I wanted this. I wanted the XP for Dante. All right, guys, I gotta calm down, pay attention to his coverages, pick him apart. I got this. CD Lamb, good catch. All right, we got a little tight end angle route here. We also got Cortland Sutton. Oh, why did he double spin? I didn't mean to do that, but we'll take the first down. Put Duvernay on the zig route here instead of that little flat he was running Cortland Sutton playmaker up the field into the end zone that's a touchdown let's work the middle ah, I couldn't quite get there I tried Robbie Anderson is tearing me up that's all I know first thing I want to say guys great game to be Kaz um, very satisfied. Seems like that trade really helped the team out. Let's go over the stats. Lamar Jackson, perfect passer rating, 158.3, 15 for 19, 257 yards, three touchdowns, 78 completion percentage, no picks this time around against a great player. Rushing, Marlon Mack had a big run, nine carries, 66 yards, and a touchdown. Receiving, Evan Ingram once again, absolute monster, four catches, 97 yards, two touchdowns. Cortland Sutton, four catches, 70 yards, and a touchdown. C.D. Lamb didn't have the biggest game, but, you know, this is his first game in the system. You know, he's got to learn the playbook. Two catches, 31 yards. Two tackles for loss, one by Montez Sweat, one by Keanu Neal. One sack by Montez Sweat. Two picks, one by Dante Jackson. He should have had two by himself. That one, he bobbled the ball like four or five times off his helmet, off his hands, off his helmet, off his hands. I don't know what happened. And then Byron Jones also got the big-time pick when he was covering Mike Gesicki. Overall, great performance by the whole squad. Let's go see if we got any upgrades, and we'll wrap up the episode. All right, guys, so Byron Jones with an upgrade, our number one corner. We'd love to see it. We're going to upgrade his man-to-man. -man. His zone's already in the 90s. We want to get this man coverage up into the 90s as well. We have one step ahead on him. Plus two awareness, plus one man coverage, plus one tackle. Very solid upgrades. All right, guys, so we have moved to 2-0. Next week, we play our buddy Jason. Um, me and him, I don't know how many games we played against each other. Probably somewhere over 100. 
He's beaten me before. Normally I have his number, but there has been times where, you know, he's, he's beaten me. I think last year when we played each other, it was like, I think we played like 15 games. I think I won like 11. He won about four. Uh, but I think he won more games in CFM than I did. I think we probably played like four times in CFM. I think he won three of those. So CFM, I feel like he plays a little bit better than he does in Mutt. Um, so should be a very interesting game. We just made that trade also. Um, obviously, it benefited me. Hopefully, it benefits him as well. And Tyron Matthew is what he needed to put his defense over the top. But, guys, that is going to wrap up the episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said before, make sure you guys sub to BCAS. Hell of a game between us. And we will be seeing each other again at the end of the season. Uh, we're in the same division. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please make sure to smack that like button. Hit that sub button if you're new. Turn notifications on. As always, have a great day. I'm out.